I want to define the, new, the different kinds of Lie algebras. Now that you know what a Lie algebra is, what are the different kinds or different definitions, you know, or we have to refine the idea of Lie algebras a little bit more. We are not talking about the classification of Lie algebras, we are talking about different kinds of Lie algebras. Let me tell you what I mean. So the first definition is a simple Lie group. Okay, so from the simple Lie group, we'll go to the simple Lie algebra, of course. So what is a simple Lie group? So a simple, do you remember what the, what the definition of a simple group was for discrete case? Can someone remind me? A tri with a trivial center? Uh, yeah, that's a consequence, yes. It was a group which doesn't have an invariant, uh, a normal subgroup. Okay, so you can have a subgroup, but it cannot be a normal subgroup. So of course, if it has a abelian subgroup, then of course, abelian subgroups are by definition normal subgroups, right? And therefore, you know, in abelian subgroups are centers, right? So, okay, so for Lie groups, a simple Lie group, You know, is a non abelian Lie group uh, that does not have a non trivial that is non zero a non-trivial normal Lie subgroup. You can have a subgroup, but it cannot be a normal subgroup. Remember, if H is a group, is a subgroup of G, it is normal if uh, G of H is equals to H of G, right? for all Gs. So that's what normal means. So, so this is H is normal. Uh, another notation that I didn't use before, but I would like to introduce it now, is that a lot of times we call normal subgroups invariant subgroups, okay? So a lot of times okay, you'll find that normal subgroups are the same as, okay, I should not use the mathematics notation. Normal subgroups are also called invariant subgroups. Okay, so a simple Lie group is a Lie group which does not have a normal, a simple Lie group is a non-abelian Lie group which does not have a non-trivial normal subgroup. Okay, so now let's make a couple of comments. Um, so a simple Lie group may have D 
discrete normal subgroups, okay? may have discrete normal subgroups. And that's actually very normal to have. <laughs> so for example, we know that Z2 is a subgroup of SU2, right? because Z2 is just generated by uh, the two by two identity matrix, which is of course an element of SC2, as well as minus of the identity matrix, right? And all of these matrices, because they're diagonal matrices, they commute with uh, all the elements of SC2, right? So, and therefore they're, that, they are an abelian subgroup and therefore they're normal subgroups, right? But they are not Lie groups, but Z2 is not a Lie group, right? So in fact, SU2 has an infinite number of discrete normal subgroup because all the Zn groups are uh, are subgroups of SU2, right? So these are essentially matrices which are of the form of, uh, you know, if you take the uh, E to the power I, two pi K over say N, and then zero, zero E to the power minus, two pi i k over n, sorry. Yeah, so all these elements, they form a group and they are essentially for discrete k's. So k goes from zero to n minus one, right? So these are the, they generate the Zn groups, right? Uh, it's okay, so the U roots of the nth roots of unity forms a group, and we're just making a matrix representation of it. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. yeah, but this is a normal subgroup. That's the point, but it's not a Lie group. Yeah, it's not as discrete. Yeah. Okay, so uh, the other thing is that. Uh, yeah, the second comment is kind of trivial, but so a Lie group, a simple Lie group, you know, gives right, you know, uh, arises from a simple Lie algebra, which we'll define below. Simple Lie algebra, which we shall define below. Okay, so, but before we define a simple Lie algebra, let us define an invariant subalgebra. So the definition of an invariant subalgebra. So, you know, suppose that G tilde is a Lie algebra. And K tilde is some subset, okay? Now K tilde is an invariant 
sub algebra if commutators of the elements of K tilde with the elements of G tilde either results in K tilde or zero. Okay, so if this is the case, then K tilde is an invariant subalgebra. Okay, so, so basically, you know, you have, so these, this is say uh, G tilde and uh, K tilde is some subset and the commutator of an element from say K tilde and an element say from G tilde takes you back into K tilde. Okay, so the combination of these two things takes you back to K tilde or to zero. Okay, so then we call that an invariant. K tilde is an invariant subalgebra. Sir, um, is, is it redundant to write K tilde or zero? Like I was wondering whether zero should belong to K tilde as well. Uh, so K tilde is, uh, no, it is not redundant. It, it, you know, uh, it's, so it's basically, you know, if for all of the K tildes, if this is the case for all of, you know, for, for, for all the cases, right? I mean, or, um, oh, you mean whether zero should be an element of K tilde? No, no, K tilde is a, you know, we are not, when we're talking about the Lie algebra, we are really not talking about, uh, you know, I mean, it oh, is because, there. Yeah, zero can yeah, be represented yeah. that way. Yeah, so, yeah. Okay. All right, so, uh, so now we are ready to define a simple Lie algebra. Okay, so, okay, so if a Lie algebra has no non-trivial invariance of algebra, then it is a simple Lie algebra. Okay. So let's give an example. The Lie algebra of SU2. So SU2 consists of three generators, T1, Tau1, and Tau2, and Tau3. And, uh, you know, we have the commutator of tau i and tau j is i epsilon i j k tau k, or say tau one tau two commutator is i tau three etc. Right. So we see that you know there is say no subalgebra. Say if I take just one of these guys uh, when we commute it with another one it doesn't close in on itself, right? So T1, T2, if this was say some linear combination of say T1 and T2, uh, you know, so you know, then we would start having a, uh, yeah, a, uh, a Lie algebra, which was not simple, okay? In this case, it is simple because we see that this structure is not realized. 